Now, the second thing that's really cool about UV lasers, and it's not specific to Xtool, has to do with the UV wavelength of light. So it has the smallest wavelength of all the different types of lasers that we talk about, where like CO2 lasers are in the infrared spectrum and they're really, really long. And there's an inverse relationship between the amount of energy per photon coming out of that laser beam uh, and then the wavelength. So the smaller the wavelength, the more power per photon you get. And why that matters to you is basically anytime you are doing engraving, especially on like organic materials, the way you're getting the marks is you're heating up the chemical bonds and then you're breaking those bonds because they get so hot. And a lot of times you want that on wood because that gives you a darker char kind of carbon mark on the top, but you never want that engraving mark to go around whatever you're working on. But the cool thing about UV lasers is you don't really have to heat up the material to get the mark. Uh, you can do what they call a cold marking or like ablation might be the term you see. And basically it's able to give enough energy to the electrons making the bonds and the material to jump those to different levels to break the bonds themselves. And so what that means is you can mark on materials that you just can't do with other machines because especially with things like plastics, so in this case, this is PLA, uh, so like 3D printed PLA, which definitely can melt because that's how 3D printers work to begin with, but you can dial it in and do marks on it that aren't going to melt the material. And this definitely carries over to a lot more delicate and thin material that you just can't physically do with another type of laser. Again, when I do the full review of this, I'll show you a bunch of different examples, but marking 3D printed parts, specifically PLA, has been a great use case that I've already found for this already.